In our new NBC News poll, as we've just been saying, Nikki Haley has moved into second place. That's the good news. The bad news is when you dig deeper into that poll, only 9% of her supporters are extremely enthusiastic about her. Ann Seltzer said she's never seen those kinds of low enthusiasm numbers before in the poll. Well, look, there's only two people that set expectations for Iowa. That was Ron DeSantis and Donald Trump. They both said they were going to win Iowa. Nikki's never had expectations. So the fact that she has surged to second place, I think, just speaks, um, uh, you know, volumes to the work that she's doing on the ground. She's connecting with voters. Um, at the end of the day, it's all about getting out the vote, right? You want to get as many folks out to those polls. If you're sitting at home waiting for Donald Trump to be de defeated in Iowa, go out. Caucus for Nikki Haley tonight. That is what is going to move the dial. Republican Democrat, independent, anyone can go caucus for Nikki Haley. We just want everybody to get out there and vote. And that's the opportunity. Trump doesn't lose any other way other than at the ballot box. Um, he's, he's again, leading in, in Iowa. That shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. Um, but Ron has faded. It's really a two-person race between Nikki and Trump. And that's exactly what we were going for coming out of Iowa. Of course, it's a two-person race for second place, because in the same poll, Nikki Haley had only 12 percent support from evangelicals, compared to 51 percent for Donald Trump, 22 percent for Ron DeSantis. And that has helped him to, you know, Trump, to paint her as not a true conservative. And she's got more support from people who say that if she weren't in the race, they might vote for Biden. So what does that say about Nikki Haley? Is she a true conservative going into New Hampshire? Well, well, of course she's a true conservative. And, and the fact that Donald Trump is attacking Nikki Haley says a lot about Nikki Haley because Trump is afraid of her. He's not afraid of anybody else other than Nikki Haley. He knows that this is a two-person race, which is why he's attacking her so strongly. Guess what's happening? Her polls are just going up. Her polls are just going up. They're not going down. She's the only candidate with momentum over the last month, both in New Hampshire um, and in Iowa, and even in some of the polls in South Carolina, where she just keeps rising in the polls. Trump's not going up. Ron's not going up. They've all stalled. So the fact that this has turned from a campaign and a candidate into a real movement, right? It's something that gets people excited, something where people say, I don't care how cold it is in Iowa. We're going to go caucus for Nikki Haley. We understand this is how you not just you galvanize the Republican Party, but you bring healing to the entire country. You can't complain about what happens in the general election if you don't play in the caucuses in Iowa and the uh, the primary here in New Hampshire. Um, and those are the two stops. Ron's not even going to come back to New Hampshire, is our understanding. He's kind of ignoring it, going off to South Carolina. It's kind of a, a strange strategy here. He's completely given up on the state, again, indicating it's, it's just that two-person race. So if you can get it down to two people before Super Tuesday, and clearly that's going to be, be the opportunity, now it really becomes kind of that 50-50 proposition, right? Can Trump really hold, um, you know, the, at, at 47, 46, 47 percent. Is that enough to get them over the, the, the hump, if you will, uh, to win Super Tuesday states if, uh, if there's only two people in the race? The math, math says it isn't, um, but the fact that we've even gotten here when no one says we, we could have uh, has defied expectations so far. Now, the Haley campaign has launched a new ad in New Hampshire. Let's take a look at it, a portion of it. The two most disliked politicians in America, Trump and Biden, both are consumed by chaos, negativity, and grievances of the past. The better choice for a better America? Nikki Haley. She doesn't even mention DeSantis. Why should she? I, 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 again, Andrew, it's a two-person race. No one's even thinking about Ron. He's not playing in New Hampshire. He's going to get crushed in South Carolina. And w this win that he promised in Iowa is definitely not coming to fr fruition, and he's falling uh, way behind. And look, when you see that ad, you know, you see Donald Trump holding up a Bible. Looks like a guy has never held, held the good book before. I mean, it's embarrassing. When you look at, at what Nikki has brought to the table from conservative values, what she's done for South Carolina, her understanding of international issues, and most importantly, she gets it done. We can all agree on politics. Policy. But Nikki has a record of always getting these things done. So, you know, being able to work with Congress to secure the border, work with Congress for the health care reform, all these things we were promised as Republicans during Trump's administration and never got. Well, this is where voters finally have a say and say, look, we're going to move forward. We're going to be positive. We're going to be optimistic, future looking. She brings all of that to the table, which is why, again, her numbers are surging. Everyone else is in the back seat. She's the one that's now getting attacked uh, because they want to throw everything they can at her. But uh, she's He's resilient, and, and the numbers show that. Well, this is a tougher ad on Donald Trump than anything she's shown previously. So there is one of the criticisms of her is that she's not been consistent. She says one thing in one state and another in another. But I just wanted to point out 
You said in the general election, if it came down to President Biden versus Donald Trump, you would support Trump. The former president is posting about you today, writing, his name is Chris Sununu, and he is now the very unpopular governor of New Hampshire, who endorsed Nikki <laughs> Birdbrain Haley, who is seldom able to beat crooked Joe Biden in the polls. These are his words, of course, and will never beat the Democrat Party, Democrat, instead of Democratic Party, in reality. Sununu is Chris Christie without the weight. He does lots of television and just spews out false fact after false fact. So since that just came out on Twitter, in, uh, I guess on Twitter, I want to give you a chance to respond. Are you still going to vote who for cares? Donald Trump yeah, against cares? Joe Biden? Yeah, look. <laughs> well, look, I'm, I'm pretty proud that we, I am one of the more, more popular governors in the country. And it's not just because of what we do and how we do it. It's New Hampshire. We do things a little differently. It's about brain. It's about connectivity. It's about getting out there and not just coming in, flying in, doing a big rally and flying out. Right. It's connecting with voters. Right. And that's what Nikki's doing. So, again, Donald Trump is scared. He wouldn't be writing any of that if he wasn't scared to death about the fact he's looking at his own internal numbers. He knows how close this race is getting. He was told by the whole world in the press that he was going to you know, run away with Iowa, New Hampshire, and South Carolina, and especially here in New Hampshire, we're now challenging that, right? We always wanted to get a strong second, and, and I feel very confident we're going to be there. But now to defy what everyone said was possible and potentially even beat him, I mean, it's a long shot to be sure, but she's doing it. Her numbers are rising every single day. Trump is scared, and he should be. He's not strong. He won't, he's scared to be called on his record. He won't get on a debate stage with her. He won't do any of the things that, that you really need to do to connect with voters. So, uh, so yeah, you know, it's it's the sign of the times for Donald Trump, the, the beginning of the end. So, yes or no, if he turns out to have the nomination against Joe Biden, would you still vote for him? Oh, sure. Look, I'm, I'm going to support the Republican nominee. Guys, look at what Biden has done. This Bidenomics is crushing middle America families right here in New Hampshire. Uh, everything from fuel prices to supply chain issues. The border is a serious issue. You have Democrats turning on Joe Biden now because of his complete dereliction of duty on the southern border. Uh, so, no, I, I, of course we're going to support the Republican nominee. That's how bad Joe Biden is. He's actually made it so Donald Trump can actually challenge him because he's, he's done such a bad job. But the strength is Nikki Haley. She would beat Biden by 10, 15 points. She'd bring all these other opportunities for America. America. She can actually get stuff done and work with folks. But yeah, I mean, look, at the end of the day, I think uh, my, my job is just to give Nikki a, a strong of a shot, open as many doors as we can here in New Hampshire. But she's earning it. She's earning this stuff herself. She's doing a tremendous job in Iowa, beating expectations, beating expectations in New Hampshire. And so that just leads to a, a lot of opportunity in the coming months for this election.